Hello, book leaguers, parents, teachers, and caregivers. Welcome to Book League Storytime Adventures. I have not been this excited about a video in a long time. I am about to drop my crayon book compilation. All eight videos that I've done with the crayons by Drew Daywalt and Oliver Jeffers are going to be in one epic video. You can skip to the book that you'd like or watch the whole thing all the way through. The day the crayons quit and the day the crayons came home are the best two by far, but the other ones are great too, especially when you get to know the characters. I'm excited. I know you are too. Let's go. <laughs> The Day the Crayons Quit by Drew Daywalt, pictures by Oliver Jeffers. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Hey, Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You made me work harder than any of the other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. <sighs> Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes, dragons, and wizard's hats. But it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines... Soon, I am going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither. I am beige and I am proud. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that Brown gets all the bears, ponies, and puppies, while the only thing I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky. And wheat, let's be honest. When was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Your beige friend. Beige Crayon. Duncan, Gray Crayon here. You're killing me. I know you love elephants, and I know that elephants are gray. But that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. And don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those things. Such big animals. Baby penguins are gray, you know. So are very tiny rocks, pebbles. How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? Huh? Your very tired friend, Gray Crayon. Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same color as the page you are using me on. White. If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow or to fill in empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, White Crayon. Oi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outline of things. Things that are coloured and by other colours. All of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair. 
when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in the colors of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, Black Crayon. Dear Duncan, as Green Crayon, I am writing for two reasons. One is to say that I like my work. Loads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problems and wish to congratulate you on a very successful Cluttering Things Green career so far. The second reason I write is for my friends, Yellow Crayon and Orange Crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crayon. Dear Duncan, Yellow Crayon here. I need you to tell Orange Crayon that I am the color of the sun. I would tell him when we are no longer speaking. And I can prove I'm the color of the sun, too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun on your Happy Farm coloring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page 7. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal, in the true color of the sun, yellow crayon. Dear Duncan, I see yellow crayon already talked to you. The big whiner. Anyway, could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know I am clearly the color of the sun, because on Thursday you used me to color the sun on both the Monkey Island and the Meet the Zookeeper pages in your day at the zoo coloring book. Aren't you glad I'm here? Ha! Your pal, in the real color of the sun, Orange Crayon. Dear Duncan, it has been great being your favorite color this past year and the year before that and the year before that. I have really enjoyed all of those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is that I am so short and stubby, I can't even see over the railing and the crayon box anymore. I need a break, dude. Your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. Duncan. Okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. Is it because you think I'm a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to color in her little princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now back to us. Could you please use me sometime to color in the occasional pink dinosaur or monster or cowboy? Goodness knows they could use a splash of color. Your unused friend in crayon. Hey, Duncan, it's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have on any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help. Your friend, Peach Crayon. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to color. And of course, he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring. and an A-plus for creativity. For my next book, I'm going to read The Day the Crayons Came Home. 
written by Drew Daywalt, illustrated by Oliver Jeffers. Please subscribe for more crayon content, as well as a lot of other read-alouds and educational videos. Thank you, and enjoy! One day, Duncan and his crayons were happily coloring together when a strange stack of postcards arrived for him in the mail. Dear Duncan, not sure if you remember me, my name is Maroon Crown. You only colored with me once to draw a scab, but whatever. Anyway, you lost me two years ago on the couch, then your dad sat on me and broke me in half. I never would have survived had Paperclip not nursed me back to health. I'm finally better, so come get me. And can Paperclip come too? He's really holding me together. Sincerely, your marooned crayon, maroon crayon. Dear Duncan, no one likes peas. No one even likes the color pea green. So I'm changing my name and running away to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. The crayon formerly known as P. Green. Hi, Duncan. It's me, Neon Red Crayon. Remember that great vacation we had with your family? Remember how we laughed when we drew a picture of your dad's sunburn? Remember dropping me by the hotel pool when you left? Clearly, you do not because I'm still here. How could you miss me? Anyway, after eight months waiting for you to come get me, I guess I'm walking back. Your left behind friend, Neon Red Crayon. Duncan, it's, it's us. us. Yellow, Yellow and, and orange. orange. We know we, we used, used to argue over which of us was the color of the sun. Of the sun. But, but guess what? what? Neither, Neither of us wants to be the color of the sun anymore. Not, Not since, since we were left outside and the sun melted us together. You know, you know the, the real color, color of the sun? Hot. Hot. That's what. what? We're, we're sorry, sorry for arguing. arguing. You can make green the sun for all we care. Just bring us home. Your not-so-sunny friends, yellow and orange. Hiya, Duncan. I'm sure you don't recognize me after the horrors I've been through. I think I was uh, tan crayon or maybe uh, burnt sienna. I don't know. I can't tell anymore. Have you ever been eaten by a dog and puked up on the living room rug? Because I have. I have been eaten by a dog and puked up on the rug, Duncan. And it's not pretty. Not pretty at all. I'm more carpet fuzz than crayon now. Can you please bring me back? Your undigestible friend, tan or Possibly burnt sienna, crayon. Dearest Duncan, um, could you please open the front door? I still need to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. Hey, hey Duncan. Remember last Halloween when we told your little brother there was a ghost under the basement stairs? Then we drew that scary stuff on the wall. Sure was funny when he ran screaming, right? But it wasn't so funny when you forgot to take me out of the basement. Please come get me. I'm kind of terribly horrified. Your scared friend, glow in the dark crayon. Dear Duncan, looks like I'm almost home. Been through China, Canada, and France, I think. Just crossing New Jersey by camel now. New Jersey has giant pyramids, right? See you soon. Neon Red Crayon, P.S. 
Next stop, the North Pole, I think. Arr, Duncan, does page eight of Pirate Island ring a bell? Kind of a big payday for Captain Greenbeard there, don't you think? And no bronze or silver in that pile, huh? I told you it'd make me blunt if you colored each coin individually, but would you listen? No. I also told you those stupid crayon sharpeners never work. Did you listen to that? Also no. Now I can't color anything at all. Your pointless friend, Gold Crayon. I had to write it for him. This is not fun for me either, you know. Dear Duncan, I've seen the world. It's rainy. I'm coming back. Esteban the Magnificent! Hi, Duncan. You're probably wondering why my head is stuck to your sock. Uh, a question I ask myself every day. Well, it's because last week you left me in your pocket and I ended up in the dryer. I landed on your sock and now he's stuck to my head. Can you please come get me also? Why does everything you wear still smell after it's washed? Your stinky, socky, stocky on the head, buddy. Turquoise crayon. Tell him I said hi. Why? P.S. Socks says hi. Dear Mr. Duncan, I know I'm not your crayon. I know I belong to your baby brother, but I can't take him anymore. In the last week alone, he's bitten the top of my head, put me in the cat's nose, drawn on the wall, and tried to color garbage with me. The worst part is, he is a terrible artist. I can't tell what his drawings are. Donkeys? Monkeys? Donkey monkeys? Picasso said every child is an artist, but I don't know. I don't think he met your brother. Please rescue me. Your desperate friend, Big Chunky Toddler Crayon. Duncan, greetings from the Amazon rainforest. Making great time. I think I'm almost home. Neon Red Crayon. Hello, Duncan. It's me, Brown Crayon. You know exactly why I ran away, buddy. Everyone thinks I get all the great coloring jobs. Candy bars, puppies, ponies. Lucky me, right? Bet they don't know what else you used me to color, do they? I didn't think so. The rest of that drawing was great, but did it really need that final brown scribble? I'll come back, but please, let's stick to candy bars, okay? Your very embarrassed friend, Brown Crayon. Duncan was sad to learn of all the crayons he'd lost, forgotten, broken, or neglected over the years. So he ran around gathering them up. But Duncan's crayons were all so damaged and differently shaped than they used to be that they no longer fit in the crayon box. So Duncan had an idea. He built a place where each crayon would always feel at home. Hey, there's no dogs down there, are there? Know what I mean? Nope. No turkeys either. Righteous! Oh, you flatter me, but it's not real, Chocolate. Let's have a party. This one is from my blue period. But it's not really blue. More like lilac. I think, I think that, that door, door is, is for us. Ah, uh, there you are. I could use a haircut. Er, hope there's not a metal detector. 
No, I think everyone is welcome. Looks good, lads. Who are you wearing? Uh, ooh, I think he goes by Ted. I'm Ted. Make sure it's straight. Then in Cleveland, I got to hike the Great Wall of China. This here's a picture of me in Jacksonville holding up the leaning tire of pizza. I ate so much pizza on that trip, that's how I was able to hold up the tire. Anyway, please subscribe to our channel. We got tons of crayon content and other great videos about reading. Don't forget to keep reading because that's the most important thing you can do for your brain. Esteban the Magnificent. Y'all come back soon, you hear? This one is called The Crayon's Book of Colors, written by Drew Daywalt, illustrated by Oliver Jeffers. If you haven't watched the rest of the crayon books, please check out my playlist in the description. Can you name the colors of Duncan's crayons? This is Red Crayon. Red Crayon has colored strawberries, hearts, apples, a fire engine, and Santa Claus. This is Purple Crayon. Purple Crayon has colored a dragon. And some grapes. This is Beige Crayon. Beige Crayon only colors wheat. This is Gray Crayon. Gray Crayon has colored a rhino, a hippo, and an elephant. And a baby penguin. This is White Crayon. Can you see him? White Crayon has colored a white cat in the snow. This is Black Crayon. Black Crayon has colored beach balls and rainbows. This is Green Crayon. Green Crayon has colored a dinosaur, a tree, a frog, and a bug. And recycling crocodiles! This is Yellow Crayon. Yellow Crayon has colored the sun. This is Orange Crayon. Orange Crayon has also colored the sun. This is Blue Crayon. Blue Crayon has colored an ocean, clouds, rain, and a river. This is Pink Crayon. Pink Crayon has colored a princess, but would like to color a monster. And a dinosaur and a cowboy. This is Peach Crayon. Peach Crayon hasn't decided what to draw yet. Look, Duncan has colored a new picture. Can you name the colors? I'll pause here for a little bit so you can look at all the colors. I see a yellow sky. And remember, if you read The Day the Crayons Quit, he drew this especially for them. So if you haven't read that book yet, go ahead and check it out. But we have a black rainbow. We have a purple dragon. We have a pink dinosaur. We have a red Santa Claus with an orange hat. What else can you find? For my next book, I'm going to read The Crayon's Book of Numbers by Drew Daywalt and Oliver Jeffers. Duncan's tin crayons have gone missing. Can you help find them for him and count along the way? One crayon. Start coloring inside the lines. Two crayons. I like coloring crocodiles. Three crayons. I am the true color of the sun. Four crayons. Don't listen to yellow crayon. I am the true color of the sun. Five crayons. I'm tired of being called light brown. Six crayons. Could you please use me sometime to color in a dinosaur? Seven crayons. Being the favorite color can be tough sometimes. It's not really righteous. Eight crayons. I need a rest. Nine crayons. I can do more than just outline things. Ten crayons. 
Elephants are a big space to color all by myself. Hooray! Hooray! You found all ten of Duncan's crayons. Duncan and his crayons are very happy. Hooray! It's called The Crayon's Book of Feelings, written by Drew Daywalt, illustrated by Oliver Jeffers. This is a short book, so I'm going to add my own commentary as we go. I hope you enjoy it. The crayons have so many feelings. Have you ever felt the way they do? Happy. I feel happy when I get along with yellow crayon. When we agree that we are both the color of the sun, that's very cool. Sad. I feel sad when I only get to color wheat. I really wish I could color a bear. Luckily, that feeling doesn't last forever. Excited. I feel excited now that Duncan has promised me he's not going to color any more of those brown squiggles. Invisible. I feel invisible when no one can see me. But when I'm with my friends, they all see me. And that makes me happy. Scared. I feel scared when Duncan, like, picks me up out of the crayon box and then I look down at the paper and I see that it's a giant, giant rhino and elephant that he's going to make me color. And I'm, I'm really scared about how long that's going to take and how tired it will make me. Grumpy and a bit tired. I get grumpy when kids color outside the lines. But when I really think about it, I remember that not everyone is perfect, and neither am I. So that makes me a little less grumpy. Brave and a little worried. I feel brave, but deep inside, I do feel worried. But when I feel worried... I remember that I am Esteban the Magnificent. Curious and shy at the same time. I'm curious because I want to know what's going on out there, but I'm shy because I'm naked. It's okay, okay to have different feelings all at once. once. It's very normal to have big, big feelings. And it's also normal to have more than one feeling at the same time. But just know that nothing lasts forever. So if you're mad or sad or anxious or scared, just remember that that won't last forever. It will go away soon. And it will go away even faster if you focus on the present moment, what you're doing right now, and also what you're grateful for. I hope you guys have a great day, and don't forget to keep reading. Bye-bye. going to read The Crayons Go Back to School, written by Drew Daywalt, illustrated by Oliver Jeffers. The cray Summer's over, and the crayons are going back to school. Hooray! Blue and beige wave goodbye to the beach. See you next year. Goodbye, gnarly beach. Righteous. Lighter deeds. The night before the first day of school can be very exciting. What am I going to wear? And it's nice to see old friends. Oh my gosh, did you get taller? No, but you're looking marvelous, dude. And make new friends, too. Hi, I'm Chunky Toddler Crayon. Hi, Chunky. I'm Husky Toddler Crayon. Oh, wow. Same last name. I wonder if we're related. And getting back to work is fun. Purple Crayon loves math. One plus one equals two. Goodness gracious me. Math is always so nice and neat. Black Crayon loves writing. I'll start with an outline. White Crayon loves reading. I love reading too, in case you didn't notice. Let's go read!
Yellow and orange love science. Hey, look, Jupiter is yellow and orange. Finally, something we can agree on. And they're all excited for art class, even if they make a mess. Actually, especially if they make a mess. Did someone say mess? No matter what time of year you're listening to this video, I hope you have a great school year. I hope you learn a lot. I hope you're well behaved. And I hope you read, read, read. See you soon. For my next book, I'm going to read Happy Easter from the Crayons. The crayons are getting ready for Easter. Red crayon decorates a circle. That is not an egg. Are you going to color an egg? Nope. Orange crayon decorates a square. Hey, that is not an egg. No, but it is the color of the sun. Yellow crayon decorates a triangle. That is totally not an egg. No, but it is the color of the sun. Esteban decorates a rectangle. That is definitely not an egg. No, but my gosh, look how magnificent it is. Esteban the Magnificent! White crayon decorates a star. That's not an egg! Also, did you even color it? Yes, I colored it. Thank you very much. Blue crayon decorates a rhombus. Huh? I know. Not an egg. Don't start with me, purple. I need a nap, dude. Purple crayon is super confused. No one is decorating an egg. Yes, yes, we, yes we are. are. Oh, now I get it. Hmm, but where are we going to hide this thing? Oh, oh, I know, dude. Nothing to see here. Happy Easter. I hope you have a righteous Easter, dudes. Check out our crayon content in the description below. We have the best crayon content. Or my name isn't Esteban the Magnificent. It's called the Crayons Trick or Treat. I love the crayons, and I know you will too. The crayons are ready for Halloween. They can't wait to fill their bags with treats. You know what you're supposed to say on Halloween, right? Of course we do. Orange knocks on the first door. Give us your candy, lady. I'm naked. What? Oh, that was all kinds of wrong. Not to mention confusing. It's a holiday, you guys. Think holiday. Now let's try that again. Okay, we got this. Yeah, no problem. Green knocks on the next door. Merry Christmas! Happy American Cheese Month. Happy birthday. I'm naked. Okay, it's Halloween, and we have to be polite, too. Oh, polite. Okay, we get it now. Gray knocks on the door after that. Happy Halloween, please. I'm naked. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, for crying out loud. Points for good manners, I guess. It's a scary holiday, everyone. Oh, scary. Okay, I got this one. White knocks on the door. Boo! Eek! 
that's not quite what I meant. It was close, though. Gray steps forward again. Wait! Repeat after me, trick or treat. Here we go. The crayons all knock on the door. Trick or treat! And also, boo! Also, did you see my costume? It was my birthday suit. <laughs> I'm going to read Green is for Christmas, written by Drew Daywalt, illustrated by Oliver Jeffers. Green is for Christmas. Actually, red is for Christmas, but please tell me more. Green is for Christmas. Green is for Holly. Ahem. Red is for Christmas. Red is for candy canes. Even old ones. Green is for fir trees. Red is for Santa Claus. Darn right it is. Ho, ho, ho. Listen, you guys, I'm invisible all year long, so you're not taking this one away from me. Hello, snowflakes, snowmen, marshmallows, white is for Christmas. Hello, I'm kind of a big deal on the Christmas tree. Silver is for Christmas. What's Christmas without silver bells? You just try jingling without me. I'm not sure why I'm here, but yeah, what he said. What about cookies and reindeer? Brown is for Christmas. I'm more Bert Sienna, but that's cool. Huh? You can't, can't have, have Christmas, Christmas without, without any, any of us. Nice hat. Especially green. The end. <laughs>